Mark Sponsler from StormSurf.com, and welcome to the Surf Forecast for the Hawaiian Islands for the week starting Friday, November 25th. Brought to you by your surf authority, expert advice, and friendly staff, Hawaiian South Shore. Be sure, be sure and hit the like and subscribe button. Ring the bell. You get automatic notifications when the videos are posted, typically on Friday afternoons. All right, let's get to work. We'll start by looking at the buoy. Waimea buoy, buoy, number 106 for the North Shore of Oahu. We're looking at all the energy present that's hitting the island anywhere from up to 33 second, very long period energy, the whole way down to wind chop at five seconds. We see a big bump somewhere between about 15 seconds and 12 seconds, and that is reasonably sized surf hitting the North Shore as we speak. If you integrate the area under the curve in the area where the highest swell energy is, Pure swell comes out to be about 9.9 .9 feet at 12.1 seconds, and that comes out to about 11.9 foot surf Hawaiian. Looking at actual waves, yeah, it's definitely double overhead, maybe triple overhead, but pretty raw and ragged because, as you can see here, there's a lot of wind swell in the mix as well, and so it's not very good conditions at all. Nevertheless, there is swell. Looking at significant wave heights for the North Pacific Ocean, we're trying to find the origin of that swell, and we're going back to Thanksgiving evening, Thursday, the 24th of November, and a gale developed. This is Hawaii right here, and the and uh, Oahu right about in there. U.S. West Coast, uh, Alaska, the Aleutian Islands, and Kamchatka, and Japan. A little gale developed just northeast of the islands, maybe about 700, 800 miles out, with seas building right there to about 30 feet, uh, last night into Friday morning and falling southeast aimed pretty well at the Hawaiian Islands. That is a swell that is hitting now and is going to continue to build through the next, well, say 24 hours and then slowly fading from there. Looking forward, we're going to do a bit of a deeper dive. We're going to start looking at jet stream level winds. These winds have about 30,000 feet, help support the formation of gales. When they form, help direct their track. We're looking at these winds here. We're looking for a trough that is a dip in the jet, just like what we have right there. That helps create a counterclockwise flow aloft and down at the ocean surface. That's the hallmark of low pressure. And of course, low pressure, if it's strong enough, generates winds. Winds, if they're strong enough, get traction on the ocean surface and generate seas. Seas, as they radiate away, from the fetch area turn into swell, and swell and hit your beach turns into surf. So we have a trough here. The date line is right here, the international date line. So it's west of the date line, pushing off of Japan with a good amount of winds. That's 160 knot winds feeding into that trough. That's what really gets the circulation going. And that is what is setting up the next bout of swell for the Hawaiian Islands. You can also see the cutoff trough associated with the low that is generating the swell currently poised to hit the Hawaiian Islands. But mostly east of the dateline, the jet is ridging up to the north, kind of fragmented mess, and all the energy and all the focus is really the West Pacific. We put this into motion moving into Saturday. The trough continues over the dateline, and then it kind of pinches off like right there, gets really skinny. That does nothing to help uh, gale formation. You also see the jet then ridging hard to the north. That sets up high pressure, and that is what is driving trades, and trades should could should continue, but slowly weakening as we get into the week. All right, we get into Monday, the 28th of November, into the 29th, another trough pushes off uh, Kamchatka, does the exact same thing, setting up a good support for gale production, and yet more swell for the Hawaiian Islands. And then as we get into Friday, the jet looking even better pushing off Japan with uh, 190 knot winds pushing off the coast there and not forming a trough yet, but just when you get this consolidated jet with, with a good amount of wind energy like what is forecast 180 hours out from now, typically that results in a good support for gale development and therefore surf development. So things looking pretty good in the upper atmosphere for the moment. Down at the surface, again, the gale northeast of the Hawaiian Islands, fading with 35, almost 40 knot winds aimed at the Hawaiian Islands. You can see this kind of northeast fetch making for sloppy kind of really raw conditions on the north shore of Oahu. But as we said, 
We expect that to get better as time progresses. Gale pushing off Japan here with 50 knot winds, aimed reasonably well at the Hawaiian Islands. Forecast moving towards the dateline, the dateline right there. As we get into Saturday night and Sunday, it just basically fades. Another gale right behind that starts developing as we get into Monday, the 28th of November, with 50 knot winds aimed southeast, but the gale itself uh, pushing off to the north probably not getting a whole lot of traction, and that fading. And then yet another system, potentially, as we get into Friday here, pushing off the Kuril Islands with 50 knot winds aimed to the south, again, offering some potential for Hawaii and being fed by a strong jet stream flow aloft. Now we're going back in time to Tuesday, November 22nd. A gale started pushing off Japan and building with 30-foot seas, building to about 38 foot, but lifting northeast into Thanksgiving Day and then pushing north and of not a whole lot of interest after that. Here is the local gale that's currently making swell, starting to impact the Hawaiian Islands. Swell from this one to be right behind that. And yet another gale started developing, pushing off Japan on Friday, today, the 25th, lifting northeast with 38 foot seas, aimed pretty well at the Hawaiian Islands. That gale is supposed to continue lifting off to the east with, oh, 30, 31 foot seas aimed at the Hawaiian Islands and then fading out as we get into Saturday night and Sunday and then pretty much nothing. So that almost looks like three swells right there. And then yet another small gale is forecast on Tuesday with uh, 33 foot seas aimed southeast at the Hawaiian Islands and then maybe more behind that with a little bit of luck. There we go, the final system developing over the North Dateline region. So, plenty of activity forecast for the next week. Let's go put it all together. So here we go. So, secondary swell building in from the Northeast as we get into Saturday, 7.5 feet at 13 to 14 seconds later in the day. Surf building back up again to 10 feet later in the day. Again, from that Northeast angle, uh, we'll say, or North Northeast, 20 degrees. That swell fading some on Sunday, the 27th, from 7 feet at 12 to 13 seconds, 8.5 foot Hawaiian, probably double overhead. And that swell on Monday fading yet more to 4.6 feet at 11, or from 4.6 feet at 11 seconds. So five foot head high, maybe a foot or two overhead, and then down from there. Tuesday, the first of the Dateline swells arrives small because it wasn't aimed directly at the islands. Four feet at 16, sec uh, 16 seconds later, so six foot Hawaiian, a foot or two overhead from 315 degrees. And that swell fading from 3.7 uh, 3 feet at 14 to 15 seconds on Wednesday. Uh, that'd be about five foot, maybe a foot overhead, something like that. And yet more swell is forecast behind that. So a good run of surf is expected. So it certainly appears that fall is finally arriving in earnest with a whole series of swells expected from the dateline with some decent period and decent size. And better yet, the winds are supposed to turn easterly and more typical trades as we get into the early part of the work week. So conditions improving dramatically. All right, that's it for this week. Be sure to do all your shopping at Hawaiian South Shore, and we'll see you next week. Enjoy. Mahalo for checking us out. I hope you enjoy the video. Please continue supporting us by subscribing to our channel. Aloha.